Hello everybody, it's Obstetric and Gynecology Made Easy. Today we are going to talk about neoplastic and non-neoplastic ovarian cysts. I'm going to start with neoplastic ovarian tumors. We know that both ovary release follicles and follicles equal eggs. So the mnemonic is eggs. E4 epithelial cell tumors and G4 germ cell tumor and second G ladder for gonadoblastoma and the S4 sex cord stromal tumor and secondary ovarian tumors the mnemonic for epithelial cell tumors is CMBC repeated after me CMBC SCE4 serous tumors and E4 endometrioid tumors, M4 mucinous tumors and B4 brainer tumors, C4 clear cell carcinoma. The mnemonic for germ cell tumor, we will take the first two letters from germ cell and T of tumor. To be G E C E and T. G ladder for germinoma, this germinoma, and E for embryoma and body embryoma, C for choriocarcinoma and E for endodermal sinus tumor, and T for teratoma. Gonadoblastoma. It is a combination of germ cell and sex cord stromal tumors. The mnemonic for sex cord stromal tumor is GIFTS. G4 granulosa cell tumor and gynandroblastoma. F4 fibroma and T4 sicoma. S4 sertoliliding tumors and steroid tumors. Secondary ovarian tumors. Example 4 it is Krakenberg tumors. Now I'm gonna talk about non neoplastic ovarian cysts. And the mnemonic is help and fact. The word help and IN for non functional cysts. H4 hemorrhagic cyst and E4 endometrioma, chocolate cyst. L4 leutoma of pregnancy, it is a solid cyst. P4 para ovarian cyst and N4 inclusion, germinal inclusion cyst. Now, fact for functional cyst. And the F ladder to remember that fact for functional cyst. F4 follicular cyst and A4 anovulatory PCO, C4 corpus luteum cyst and T4 cica lutein cyst. In brief, when you ask it about ovarian cysts, just remember this sentence. Eggs help in fact, and as we said, eggs for neoplastic ovarian tumors and help in fact for non neoplastic ovarian cysts. So don't forget this sentence eggs help in fact. Complications of ovarian cysts the mnemonic is torsion, the letters of torsion word. Torsion it is twisted or axial rotation of a bronchiolated tumor. And the O ladder look like ovarian cyst filled with blood. Hemorrhage due to 3T, trauma, tumor, or torsion. R for rupture due to 3T, trauma, tumor, and torsion. The complication of rupture according to the content of cyst, F symbol, serous cyst, the content is absorbed. Mucinous cysts lead to pseudomyxoma bridonii, and dermoid cysts lead to chemical bridonitis, 
they barely need to persist as ice. Infected cysts lead to septic peridonites. Rupture malignant cysts lead to malignant seedling. R4 reproductive complication on pregnancy lead to abortion, preterm labor, increased pressure symptom and non-engagement, malpresentation, malposition, acute abdomen with pregnancy of complication, complicated. On labor, it leads to obstruction and barbarian lead to acute abdomen if complicated. S4 size, when size increase, pressure effect start to appear on bladder, rectum, stomach, and pelvic veins. I for infection and incarceration. Infection nearby organ, such as tube, colon, cervix, or blood. Incarceration mean entrapment within the pelvis, such as Douglas Bouch due to adhesion or pregnancy. And O for obstruction of intestine. It is reported that it is the most common cause of this. It happened due to adhesion or infiltration. N for neoplasm. If the ovarian neoplasm benign, it turned to malignant. And if it is malignant, it is lead to spread or intestinal obstruction. I hope this helps. Please don't forget to like and share.